Good afternoon, everyone. This is Teacher Raisa again at your service. Descriptions. We will be continuing on our topic of description. Why? Because the description is quite a vast and um, large topic. Okay. Earlier, before we had talked about describing um, body, you know, um, the body. And so now today we'll be talking about other descriptions precisely about um, the physique, okay? Um, there are different ways and different things that you have to mention when you're describing someone, either for a crime reason, or for a missing person's reason, or for in general, even in class, when you're describing, what are some of these things that you need to take note when you're describing, you know, someone? It's not just about the physique, but there are other things involved about, you know, the skin color, the way the face is, the eyes, the shape of the eyes, um, some particular particularities about that person that you need to talk about. C'est ça, décrire une personne. C'est strictement pas que euh, le physique, mais il y a plein d'autres choses. Euh, décrire les yeux, le visage, les cheveux, compulence, you know, même les habits, all those things you need to be able to describe them. And so on the board, um, we continue with description. And we have different levels, okay? I put them, I split them into probably seven groups that we're going to be looking at. And um, today we're talking about the height. Height, ça signifie la taille. Height, it's pronounced height. It means la taille de quelqu'un is a person average. Average, ça signifie moyen. You know, il n'est pas court, um, il n'est pas très grand de taille. It's just, voilà, moyen. And so height is about average. And average, short, la personne est courte. Ou en cours. And then tall means grande taille ou grande taille, you know, tall. Huge, c'est assez grand. Ils sont un peu plus grands, voilà, like six foot or so. That is really a huge person. He's extra, like extra tall, if you can say, if I can put it that way, you know. And so those are different ways to actually describe someone's height. Is it a short person? Is it a dwarf? It could also, it could even be a dwarf, you know. Uh, a dwarf would be someone that is really extra short, like three meters, you know, a peu plus cool. That would be actually a dwarf, okay? So someone can be like really extra short, which is dwarf, which is dwarfism. It's called a dwarfism or a dwarf if you want to describe. And then an average, a short person, an average person, a tall person, an extra tall or a huge person who is like six feet or so. That would be, um, voilà, deux mètres, trois mètres, ça c'est vraiment grand, grand, extra grand de taille. Voilà. And then you have the age, qui signifie large. It has different categories, okay? Age has different categories. It starts from infancy. Infant, ça signifie un enfant, okay? Infancy, which is a baby, which is from zero to like two years or so. That's a baby, okay? And then you go to a toddler. Ça se prononce toddler. Toddler, c'est à partir de deux à six ans, from two to, to six years, is a toddler, okay? And then you go now to youth. Youth, c'est les jeunes. Les jeunes. Youth, c'est les jeunes. Oh, and then you have teenagers, qui sont les ados. Teenagers, les ados. They call it teenager. If I say I'm a teen, ça signifie que je suis ado. I'm a teen, je suis ado. And then you have adult, qui est adulte, starting from 18 years upwards, à partir de 18 ans. You have adult. And then you have what they call the middle age, moyen âge. Middle age, à partir de 40 ans, starting from 40 years and plus. It's a middle age, okay? Middle age. And then, of course, you have the senior. Senior, c'est les aînés. Senior, you can have senior. You can hear of elder. Okay? You can even hear some people say the golden age. The golden age. The golden age. Uh, those are like people from 70 upwards, 70, 70 ans en montant. You have to call them senior. 
okay, senior, as well as you can see, my senior brother. So those are the different stages as far as the uh, ages are concerned. They need to ask, you know, so, oh, um, so tell me about your family or tell me about this person. Uh, it's an infant, so actually it's a baby. Yeah, I would know that. You say, oh, uh, as a toddler, okay, I would actually automatically know the age. Or you can say, oh, it's a youth or it's a young person. Youth or young person, okay? Person, jeune, young person. Um, teenager, so an ado, I already can guess, you could déjà défilé, um, large, you could say, oh, it's a teenager, so an ado, it's an adult, an adult, okay, or middle-aged person, or a senior person, uh, you know, an old person, it's an elderly person, old person, or you can say it's a senior um, man, it's a senior woman, okay, and so those are ages that you can use that you can actually use to practice when you're talking about describing someone, okay? And then, well, what about the face? Sometimes we get to forget the face. What about the face? What kind of face? Um, is it a round face? Is it a long face? You know, is it a square face? Or is it wrinkled? Wrinkled, ça signifie que um, c'est froissé. Wrinkled, ça, les, you know, c'est froissé, les rides. It's wrinkled. If I say wrinkled face, ça signifie que c'est une face remplie de rides. Okay? Automatiquement, ça te fait penser à quelqu'un un peu plus âgé. You might think it's a senior person. So wrinkle, it means les rides. Okay? And so, is it the person has a wrinkled square face? Does he have a wrinkled um, round face? Is it a small face or so? You know? Um, and then the face, what about the face? Does it have beard? Le bab? It's called beard. Beard, le bab, or moustache, moustache, or goti. Goti is those that have all the way here, and then they go through the mouth. You know, so you have your face, and it goes all the way here and comes here. It's a goti. Okay, it's called the goti when you have barbs, when you have a little bit of moustache all around here but a barb is here and mustache is here so that is you have been able to kind of like describe the person and someone has beards you know um and then what about the eyes are they small eyes are they sharp eyes you know you should be able to say what kind of eyes they have do they have like long eyes or sharp at the edges or round or small eyes and what color what's the color of the eyes is it hazel is it blue? Does it have blue eyes? They have green eyes or is it just brown? So you need to, if you're able to like look at the person or the face, does that person put on glasses? Glasses. Glasses. That signifies les lunettes. Medical glasses. C'est-à-dire, if the person is putting on, like me, I have a medical glass for the lunettes medical. Après, il y a les lunettes de soleil, which are sunglasses. But I have medical glasses, okay, because it has medicine in them. So these are medical glasses. And they call them glasses parce qu'il y a une et deux. Okay, so they are glasses au plus It's not just medical glass, but medical glasses, okay. And so you have, so he or she, pour décrire la personne, oh, porte des lunettes. Mais si c'était les lunettes de soleil, vous allez préciser les lunettes de soleil. Uh, but um, same in English. If you have to describe me, you probably say I have a round face and I have on. Alors j'ai, I have on. You know, I'm wearing. Je porte. I have on. J'ai sur j'ai um, glasses. I say ah, are the medical glasses or sunglasses? Oh yeah, 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 medical glasses. Okay. And then you have the hair. What kind of hair? What kind of hair? Is it long hair or short hair? Is it wavy or curly? Curly, ça signifie bouclé. Hein? Bouclante, bouclé. Straight, ça signifie droite, les cheveux. Droite, tout court. Are they straight hair or bald? Bald, c'est quelqu'un qui est chauve. Naturellement, c'est plus pas tant c'est les hommes. You know, chauve. Quelqu'un chauve, it called it, it's called in English bald. So it is bald, okay? And then you have, you can have black long hair, black short hair, red long hair, red short hair, blonde, or ash or gray. Gray, c'est les cheveux gris. 
surtout pour certains qui commencent à vieillir, les cheveux, voilà, la couleur des cheveux commence à changer. So you say ashy hair or gray hair. OK, gray hair, c'est les cheveux gris. So gray hair or ash hair, you know, um, as far as hair is concerned. OK, and then complexion. It's pronounced complexion. Complexion talks about the skin. Your complexion. If I say what kind of complexion that person has, it means what's the skin that wants a skin color. Okay, the skin color. Is it dark skin? Is it dark person? Is it a brown person? Is it a chocolate person? Is it mix? Mix means um MTC. So it's a mix, you know, mix, you know, has a mitisse color, you know, or is that a person um, white, you know, is a white person, or is it an albino? Albino se prononce albino, albino, okay? And so when you're talking about the skin color, skin color, it's the complexion, or oh, it's light skin, you know, you can say white or you can say light skin. C'est que la personne est claire. Elle a light skin. Light skin. Claire de peau. It's a light skin person. It's a dark skin person. It's brown skin. It's a chocolate or mocha skin. Or it's an albino. You know, it's just, it's a métisse. It's a light skin person. And then when you come to race, you have African, of course. African. African American. Or oftentimes they say Afro American. Okay. African American. Um, voilà. Or you can say Caucasian. Caucasians are white people. It's Caucasian. It's pronounced Caucasian. Caucasian. Okay. And African American is Afro American. Afro-American. It's Af African-American. Why? Because we have Africans, we have African-American, and then it is Caucasian, and then you have Asian, les Asiatiques, Asian, because l'Asie is Asia. Asia, not Asia, not Asia, but Asia. Alors, les Asiatiques is Asian. And then, of course, you have Arab, if you want to talk about you know, race again. You have the Arabs, okay, um, and then so on, so on, and so forth. Arabs, Hindus. Um, you know, we, we can go on um, with as far as race is concerned. Of course, again, you can go even to say about religion. You know, your Buddhist, your Christians, the Muslims, your atheists, the Scientologists. You know, Buku. You know, um, those religions out there that you can actually the the Hindus. Um, you know, when you're trying to describe that's as far as religion is concerned, you can say um, Hindu, Buddhist, Christian, um, Muslim, um, atheist, um, Scientologist. Ça, ça fait partie des différentes religions, um, you know, dans le monde. If you want to go further to describe that person, Arabs, you know, you can go further to describe, even though Arab is not a religion actually. Um, so these are part as far as describing someone is concerned. Okay, we looked at the body type earlier before, and so now we've looked at different angles that you can use. And I'm pretty sure there are new words that you can learn and that you can practice in order to describe someone. And so I give you as a homework to probably take a picture of someone and try to describe um, that person. Okay, and look and see if that person has what they call um, birthmark. A birthmark. Uh, birthmark. A birthmark en français, c'est les graines de beauté. Il y a certains qui ont peut-être là, peut-être là, peut-être au dos. C'est les graines de beauté. It's called birthmark. Birth, ça signifie la naissance. Okay, but birthmark. So the people may have some particularities, quelque chose de un peu de différent, un peu particulier, you know, un peu spécial. Those particular ones are called birthmarks. It's called a birthmark. Birth, c'est naissance, like birthday, um, date de naissance. So birth, c'est naissance. Birth, mon grain de beauté. Okay, that people would actually see and actually recognize and easily um, identify you. Okay, um, so these are as far as uh, there are lots of others, but please use them. 
please get acquainted with the with the words, especially the new vocabularies. Okay, thank you. <laughs>